Look at this guys, this is not something you get to see every day. We have got a spotted hyena feasting on a spotted hyena while being watched by a group of triple skirchies. And uh, there we go, the giraffes have come in and they're just curious to see what's going on. So they've walked in to have a look. Now this is definitely not something we're gonna see every day. Uh, it does happen. Now I'm not sure how this hyena died. I was watching lions about, oh, 800 meters to a kilometer from here just behind us over there and I just saw the vultures dropping down and as we got here uh, this hyena was arriving at the same time as us it was doing the exact same thing as we were doing watching the vultures and then suddenly we realized it was feeding off another hyena now it's very difficult for me to say how this hyena died I think this carcass is quite fresh for maybe from early this morning the lions were around in this area so it is possible that a lion could have killed us it could have been a, a dispersal male trying to join a clan that were killed that was killed by the clan now hyenas will often eat their own dead oh and I do apologize for some, for some of you that might find this quite sensitive uh, but this is really fascinating behavior I've only ever seen this four or five times in my life now just quickly for the birders because you know I'm a birder as well um, we've got there we go that is a new bird species for all of you for your Kenya's list it's a uh, Kenya list it's called a Rupel's griffin a Rupel's griffin it is a type of vulture uh, it fills the same sort of niche as a cape vulture here uh, bigger than the white backs all around and of course we have the kings of the carcass well of the smelly old carcass on the avian front as well we've got a pair of lapid faced vultures as well now the hyena has chased them off but they will be waiting patiently for that hyena to move uh, away from the carcass now this hyena i think is probably quite a low ranking individual it's very very nervous and a nice free meal like this is not something that it'll pass up now the angama clan so there's a, a, a clan of hyenas that live right below final control uh, and in the angama lodge and this hyena is almost certainly from that clan whether the dead hyena is part of the angama clan or not uh, i'm not sure and uh, it is it is just really really fascinating behavior and remember any questions hashtag safari live on twitter i'd love to hear from you and i know this is quite sensitive but uh, let's see if anyone's got any thoughts on this uh, as i said it, 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 it's more than likely being killed by a lion or by the clan itself now the hyena clans here are massive uh, they get or the, the North Clan, uh, which is just to the south of us, is, is about 80 plus strong. Well, there we go, Rachel, very practical of you, Rachel. I'd, if something dies, I'd rather see it, see it being eaten than go to waste. Now, out in the bush, very little ever goes to waste, and uh, everything is pretty much devoured by if not by the big things you can see like hyenas and vultures and and whatnot but by maggots by carrion beetles by all sorts of different different creatures